getting stuff done tip number 473 I have started putting up the wall uh, putting the tongue and groove on the wall down here anyway. <clears throat> this one row of boards uh, this is a terrible video already all right here's the tip uh, sometimes you don't feel like working no that's not what I want to say either. So I started putting up this wall. I have one row. And right now I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop working on it. I'm not fully into it. I mean, I'm okay. But I'm not just, I'm not all the way there. And so I'm going to stop right here. And what I'm trying to illustrate is that instead of not putting up one row and then, so let's, uh, I'm just trying to say, instead of, uh, all right, I could have just stopped. Right before I put up these boards, I was just kind of like, oh, I don't know if I'm into this, uh, you know, um, and I could have just been like, ah, I'll do it some other time. Instead, I kept going just so I could get a couple boards up, and I have done that, and I'm still going to, I'm going to stop. I don't, I don't really feel like it anymore. Um, I might just go inside, you know, take a break for 20 minutes, uh, or I might get into something else and just not come back to it today. But the point is, what I'm trying to say, is that if you get one row up, or you do a very small part of that job, it is so much easier to pick back up later. Because you don't have that barrier in your way of getting started. You already started. It's easy. If I want to continue this, I just grab another board, slap it on, and I'm, I'm good to go. So try, if you are if you feel like stopping, try starting the next project or starting the next task and then stopping. Um, you'll find it's way easier to pick back up. Anyway, that was a long video, but that's what I want to say. No, breath, you don't lie in that pile. Don't, don't do that. No, don't lie down there. You're all covered in crap here. Come on.